Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper and it's time for a free tutorial Friday. Today we are going to be making the cutest ornament. I cannot wait to show you. So So here is my information for the November host code and our bingo class that's coming up. If you have not played bingo before, oh my goodness, it is so much fun. You, um, all you need to do is purchase the little treats bundle as well as the real red sheer ribbon. And then you'll be entered to receive all the bingo information and login information and play with us. If you'd also um, already have this, just purchase the uh, $65 minimum and you'll also get invited to that bingo. So, all right, here is your login information, jeanpersani.stampinup.net, and then here is your host code along with your order um, item numbers. Let's get started. All right, we're going to be making an ornament using the beautiful world you could use any stamp set that you want i chose the beautiful world we're going to be using this one here as well as this one and then the you make the world a better place we're going to be using some misty moonlight for our stamp and pad ink there i'm also going to be using the layering circles i chose Two, it comes with so many and I chose uh, this round one here and then this scallop right here so I will show you what we're gonna do there first let's do some stamping and we're gonna get all of our pieces ready we're gonna grab this you make the world a better place and then we're gonna grab the little um, globes here and what we're gonna do is get out our misty moonlight and we're going to do two of these there's gonna be one two and then we're gonna get the globe we're gonna do one and then we're gonna get the other side of the world and we're going to do two. So now we have those all done. That's it for our stamping. After we get those stamped, we are going to take uh, this circle right here and we're going to run it through. We're going to um, center it up, run it through once, twice, three times and then four times. You're just gonna center those up so they're right in the middle there. And then once you run those through the scan and cut, you are going to end up with something like this. So I've got those guys there. Then we're going to take the scallop and we're gonna take that and run it through a piece of Knight of Navy. You're going to make three of these. So you will need to cut three of these scallops out. And then you're going to end up with something like this. Okay, to make the ornament, we need to find the center. So what I'm going to do is grab my stamp and trimmer. Now I like to use it all the way. I'm going to see how high I can get this for you. There we go. Okay. And you kind of just need to find the center. These two grooves fit in there perfectly. And if that looks about the center, you're gonna align that cut groove there. just like that. 
does that look center I have one already done but I want to see that I just yeah if it looks center it most likely is center so once you get those two center put this down and then just use your um, little <laughs> not the not the cutter part but the da, 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 I keep forgetting I will think of it in a minute but <laughs> you're gonna take that now it's the scoring blade you're gonna take the scoring blade and run that through and then look at that you've got a perfect half there and all your scallops are gonna line up Phew! you're now gonna do that with your little globes and your sayings, you're gonna do the same exact thing. And you just take this, line it up about the center. Now you're gonna see that this comes about three inches. So you come over here and you're gonna line it up between here and here. And when you line that up, you should get the mid mark. You're gonna take that scoring blade again score each of those and look at that it comes out nice and if it's just a little bit off that's okay nobody knows except for you all right so we've got almost all of our pieces done oh i did the wrong one i was going to show you <laughs> i'm going to do this again real quick i wanted to do that on the uh, you make the world a better place so I'm gonna go ahead and do it right in the center she so could see hopefully we'll get that done scored that let's see how well I did it's a little bit off but that's okay it's just a little you see how much it is but you're not gonna be able to tell it all so I wouldn't worry about it all right, we're gonna put these together. But first, I wanna show you, it's a trick I've shown you before. I take my Stampin' Blends, I take my um, me metallic edged ribbon, and you just put those blends, and you can turn your ribbon any color you want, and it still has that silver edge like that. So you're gonna to wanna to do that, a long enough piece. I did one about six inches I'd say no I guess it's more like eight inches <laughs> there we go but look at how beautiful that is isn't that gorgeous okay now we've got all of our pieces let's go ahead and put these together we've got our three scored pieces we've got two of these you make the world a better place and then we have one of each side of the globe now you decide how you want to put this together first things first we want to get this guy done so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my silicone i only had this grid paper out so that you could um so that we could use the blends so i'm going to take my silicone mat out and a little bit of stamp and seal and we're going to seal those two pieces right up just like that and then I'm gonna put a little bit more here and then we're gonna center this just like that there we go we want that to hang nice and flat and this will bend so we're okay with that next thing we want to do is we want to add our little guys on there now you can do that with your stamp and seal or you can do it with your multi-purpose glue but we're gonna go like this we're gonna line these up just like that and then when we close it 
going to be so nice and lined up just like that. Isn't that cute? Right there. I mean, you could do, if you wanted to, just do one on each side and have a nice little um, guy that looks just like that, nice and flat for your ornaments. Quick and easy, but we want it to be a little bit more 3D. So I'm going to take my next piece. We're going to do the same thing here. Stick that right in the middle. We're going to do our last piece here. Well, let me just set this aside just to, because I have to remember which side goes where. Because these are going to all come together now. Okay, got it. So now we're going to take this glue here. Again, you could use some Tombow adhesive if you'd like. I'll give you a little bit of wiggle room there. But as long as we've got these little scallops kind of lined up there, you should be pretty good to go. Of course, it's just going to take a second here to line these little guys up. There we go. <laughs> Once they're lined up, it'll be nice there. Okay, now we're going to take our next one. Now what I've done, I have also created a little tassel. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that tassel in as well. And if you do not know how to create those little tassels, let me know and I will show you. They are really simple, really easy. And I'm just going to cut off the excess here. All right, we're moving on to our next piece here. Did I not do this up the right way? Again, I did not. So silly of me. It's okay, we're going to get this. <laughs> I think this is the hardest part. Okay, there we go. Okay. Perfect. I knew I had them all nice and lined up. Okay, so now we've got this little guy sitting there in the middle. We've got our globe there, and we are going to take this one here. Did I not cut enough? Oh, there we go. I made one of these too many, so we're good. And take this guy and we're going to put this up there. You guys know I'm always going to find a way to make it a little goofy here. We're going to line this guy up with all of our scallops. And then we're going to do the same, matching up those scallops over here. Once you get the one scallop, the rest should line up fairly well. Just making sure you get... There we go. Okay. Woo, good thing I didn't just stick that on, right? So we're going to put this one there. We're 
I'll stick that in there too. And look at how adorable this little guy is. Isn't that cute? But we're not done. We have to add a little bit of embellishments. So I'm going to take my um, blue adhesive back gems. And we're going to take our take your pick tool. My favorite tool. If you've been watching me for any length of time, you already know this. But we're going to take these blue ones. And I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one at each end, like that. Same on this. And you just kind of look to see where the other is. And then we'll get the same over here on this end. One more of these. And we're just going to take our little guys, they're teeny tiny, and we're going to put them on either edge just like this and you can do that to all three sides or you can just do it to the one you could also color in your globes you could do whatever you like but I just think this is beautiful let me know what you think. I love this little guy. And if you do like this, please give me a big thumbs up. All right, beauties. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.